Good morning, my Virgos. Happy Earth Sign Day, everybody. I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. And are you ready for your reading? I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck, and I have Dreamscape Tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I don't know what's going on with the Earth Signs today, but they're in love. They're in love. They're just, they're, I, some know they're in love. Some have no idea. Soulmates ready to come into their life, but it's all love. It's all positive. It's new. It just feels really good here. All right. So I have the hermit and I have a six of cups. And whenever I see this hermit and it's your major, I, and there's the page of wands, the eight of wands. Oh my gosh. The death card, the lovers. I feel all of this because the bottom of the deck is energy to come, but I feel like all of this is happening and she has no idea. She's over here working, doing her thing, and she's got two of ships coming in. Somebody's got her, their eye on our Virgo, eight of wands. I feel like the energy coming towards you. You got the death card, you got the lovers, you got the strength card, six of swords, page of pentacles, emperor and a two of pentacles reversed now and a king of swords this is somebody who normally holds themselves back this is somebody who normally is very guarded they're worried of maybe what people think they don't want to be rejected so all of a sudden this person's got the idea to come straight to our virgos and tell them how they feel and it feels new honestly it, it does feel new you got a six of cups you got a king of pentacles, you got a four of wands, you got a judgment after an emperor reverse and a temperance reverse. I just feel like somebody's got it in them that you're the one. Simple as that, you're the one. And they're gonna let you know it. That's just how it feels here. All right, Virgo, sun, moon, rise in Venus. Virgo, if you are a Virgo, know a Virgo, feel like being a Virgo. Well, Virgos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Virgo and this resonates, or you could be dealing with a Virgo. It could resonate as the main story, and Virgo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Virgo or for a Virgo. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. All right. Look at that. Seven of Swords reverse and a Seven of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Seven reverse. I wonder what that means when the Sevens are reversed. I feel like they're just not holding themselves back don't want to waste any more time seven of swords reverse is kind of not overthinking that's what it feels like somebody's not overthinking all right summarize in venus virgo what are the messages that need to come out for the virgoans today what are the messages that need to come out for our lovely virgos what are the messages that need to come out for our lovely virgos queen of cups yes virgo you are i believe somebody's got hearts in their eyes I feel it when they when they look at you. I do. Queen of Cups. What's influencing the Queen of Cups? What's influencing the Queen of Cups for Virgo? Cancer energy. What's influencing the Queen of Cups for Virgo? What's influencing the Queen of Cups? <laughs> they got it bad. Somebody's got it bad. I'm getting complete 100% obsession here. I was. I'm, I'm literally high and I'm embarrassed. And I'm blushing. I'm I'm blushing. This is not terror after dark, Virgo. What did you bring to my table? Is when I want to know. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? It's like they want to tie you up. Seven ways to Sunday here. What's the reason for the reading, Virgo? What's the reason for the reading? I'm like I'm really I my I'm burning up here. What's the reason for the reading? Ooh, the world. Look at the major right here the world this is somebody who's ready right now okay this i what i feel is a progression from taurus to capricorn to virgo today oh my gosh what is going on today with these earth signs what's in the past what's in the past what's in the past the hangman piscean energy not much <laughs> that's what it feels like not much Hangman is just kind of, you know, not really moving forward. It could be single. It could be someone holding themselves back. Somebody, all, it, it, it has actually so many meanings, like all these cards. What's on your mind? But it is another major. You have three majors here out of four. What is on Virgo's mind? What is on, this is the curious thing. What is on Virgo's mind? What is on Virgo's mind? Virgo's like over here pulling weeds and somebody's like, man, Virgo does it so amazingly. Okay, what is on Virgo's mind? 
what is on Virgo's mind? Three of Cups. Happiness. Is happiness in your mind? That's friendship, happiness. Some of you've really found happiness. And you know what? When you haven't been happy, that that's a priceless, that's a priceless feeling. Wanting it's just happiness is what I'm getting. Craving the craving that, wanting that, finally being in that. What's in the near future? But a three of cups is cancer, once again. And maybe this, this person's a friend, for instance, you know, and they're ready to tell you exactly how they feel. I you know what was funny? What was I it popped in my head when I was when I take the cards, I mush them all around like a kidney gardener. Um it's kind of like, should I say it? Should I, should I not? Should I say it? Should I not? It's kind of somebody, I feel like their mental thought. Do I go in? Do I, do I hold myself back? And that's kind of back here with the Piscean energy. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for, for uh, Virgo? What's in the near future for Virgo? And maybe, honestly, this has been a long-term friendship for you because we do have a hangman here. Hangman is a gaining a perspective energy. And somebody could have possibly gained a perspective over time just how meaningful you truly are to them. What is the near future? What is the near future for a Virgo? What is the near future for the Virgo? What is the near future for the Virgo? I, I don't want to pick it. I'm actually nervous. I just want you to know that. I don't want to. I feel like if I pick it, I'm going to pull the wrong one. Maybe somebody's worried about saying the wrong thing. Um, I really am hoping it's taken out of my hands and pulled for me. All right, what's the near future for Virgo? What's the, okay? Ten of Wands reverse and a Four of Swords reverse. Ah, oh, that doesn't feel like it fits. That's what I was afraid of. Could be laying down the fear and the anxiety. Four of Swords reverse can be a card of worry and anxiety, Libra and energy. And when I look at the, the minor arcanas, I, I always have to go to the sign. And that's Libra. And Libra is the Queen of Swords. And Libra is the Justice. And it would imply almost a Queen of Swords reverse. It just feels like somebody's pulling themselves back because they don't want to do the wrong thing. Maybe a Virgo has been keeping themselves from a relationship because you don't want to have the wrong one. You know, you're waiting for the right one. But a Ten of Wands reverse is almost laying down the anxiety over something. Give me one more card, though, for Virgo. What's in the near future? That's a, it feels like more of a thought process. What's in the near future? I really want to know, Virgo, what are you going to do when this person comes in? That's what I really want to know. What is in the near future for Virgo? Okay. The higher, the way that fell out, higher fent reverse. I, that's what I got. Hierophant reverse, but the Ten of Wands reverse and the Four of Swords reverse. Are some of you becoming single? That could be it. Some of you Virgos might be getting a divorce and becoming single. It doesn't change the way whoever this is in your life. Somebody's just so focused on you, hyper-focused on you. And you're hyper-focused on you too, on your own happiness. Ten of Wands reverse is letting go of what stressed you out. It could be a job though. and It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, but a Hierophant reverse can honestly be a uh, Virgo just wants happiness in their life. You might have a job that really stresses you out and you need a long-term solution to that. Not a vacation, but a long-term solution. So I really did feel, remember the hermit where she's focusing on, well, she has a fishing pole. Maybe you're fishing for other jobs. You're trying to find some peace and happiness in this stage of your life. I'm telling you, got somebody so focused on you, it is not even funny. I don't even know if you know this, how much they want you. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Cups influenced by the devil. The Queen of Cups influenced by the devil for Virgo. Why the Queen of Cups? Cancer energy, what is that about? Look at the Six of Pentacles, but the Six of Wands reverse. Nine of Wands is fear, but I feel like somebody's ready to break through their fear. See, the Eight of Wands is split, and it's a Four of Wands and a Four of Wands. And the reason why is you have a, an offer, 
but then they they're worried that it's going to be unsuccessful that's the energy i was feeling is should i say something should i not should i say something should i not you know i feel like some days they are more determined than others and nine of wands is also with the queen of cups that you can look at this as virgo themselves pushing through holding on and ready to let your eight of wands go you've held them back maybe in a relationship or in a job because i really almost get a virgo really kind of focused on on their future and what their future happiness looks like and you're ready to not hold your eight of wands back but you're ready to let them fly because she's not holding them back they they're on each side of her i also get a control of your energy and a mastering of your energy with that too with an eight of wands there your energy is walking alongside you side of you it's not going crazy it's not behind you your energy is not focused on the past it's not in the forward but it's alongside you you're controlling it look at that and an eight of wands reverse right here and a king of wands reverse right here it just feels this is fear this is what i'm talking about so when a nine of wands is upright technically it's an eight of wands reverse because the eight of wands are behind someone and they're standing there holding a page of wands so and a king of wands is afraid to put themselves out there i really get somebody's afraid to put themselves out there with you and you are finally ready to put yourself out there in your career that's kind of how i'm feeling this what is the devil what is the devil here going for virgo why is the devil capricorn why is the devil here thank you two of pentacles capricorn two of pentacles reverse look at that why the two of pentacles reverse why the two of pentacles reverse and the, the capricorn the queen of pentacles i feel like this is how they are when they look at you i maybe they watch you online maybe they watch you or look through your photos or whatever it is they're like that's what that reminds me of oh and there's the hermit and there's the devil reverse did you let go of a capricorn because they did not let go of you you got the fool and the nine of cups coming in with all like poems and shit all right what is the world reason for the reading the world reason i really feel virgo you are ready to really put yourself out there are you not working and getting a job? Are you ready to leave a, a long a job you've had for a very long time and just say, you know what? I don't care. I, I just want to see what happens because I'm tired. Uh, my my th cups are empty being in this small world. I've outgrown it. I don't want to be there. I'm freaking miserable. I'm ready to see what's out there. I, it's it's really a, a two part read. I feel like if, especially if you are focused on your your money and your stability and your work and your happiness. I'm telling you this is your read you just don't know it somebody is so focused on you what is the hangman in the past hangman in the past for virgo pisces hangman and the page of swords this is spying virgo this person's been spying on you for a while i don't usually i know on youtube tarot page of swords is a spy card that's not really a definition of it, but it's so funny. I'm going to a YouTube definition on that one. Page of Swords, I feel like somebody's been holding themselves back where it's safe, watching you from a distance. But the more they watch you, the harder they're, I feel like they have really fallen for you. What's the Three of Cups on your mind? What's the Three of Cups on your mind? It could be honestly at work because Three of Cups is a coworker card. It can be that. Um, or this could be a friend of yours but a three of cups on your mind feels like you're seeking happiness you want balance you want real people and your circle's very small these days what is the three of cups on your mind and the seven of pentacles reverse no time to waste i don't think you're you're honestly given to energies that don't give back to you i really don't i think there was a time where you people please there was a time you worried about what people thought of you i just don't think you're doing that seven of pentacles reverse and the three of cups on the other side of it seven of pentacles reverse is the member the should i stay or should i go card when it's reversed it's i'm going I'm, I'm not waiting around anymore why the three of cups i want to say and here's the three of swords going on i want to say if this is a job for you you're so you just don't feel like anyone's got your back where you're working not your boss not your co-workers and i feel like when i 
see these rings here i feel like there's an opening somewhere else and you just like the vibe it's i feel like it's completely different than something you've ever done and you're you're okay with that with the fool energy i keep seeing i think you're so fine with that you're fine with anything but where you've been you're ready for a change a big change what is the four swords reverse the ten of wands reverse first of all what is the four swords reverse in the near future and the hermit reverse you're ready to do this it makes you nervous you may want to throw up but you know you can't be in something you've been any longer what's the ten of wands reverse it's interesting because the hangman and the hermit are similar in the sense that it's a very introspective card it's about gaining a perspective on something when they're both upright like back here you have the hangman she's just kind of seeing what's out there not really moving forward but you know with the page of swords seeing what's out there take taking it slow and easy when it's reverse a hangman reverse and a hermit reverse you're ready to do this you're ready to you found something and you're ready to put action behind it so it could be yours what is the ten of wands reverse in the near future for virgo sagittarius ten of wands reverse and there's the world reverse now we have a world upright for the reason for the reading that just tells me ten of wands reverse is a card of burden but when it's reversed it's ready to lay that burden down and the world reverse is something that you've i really feel you've been thinking about this for a long time why and you know what this almost feels like a contract maybe your contract's up at a job of somewhere for some of you virgos and they're ready to sign you and you there's no amount you know and i'm thinking of matthew mcconaughey here for a reason but there's no amount of money they could offer you to get you to stay math i read an article with matthew mcconaughey or maybe it was some interview on youtube or somewhere but he was talking about how he could not do one more romantic movie that's why for like several years it was a three four or five years he didn't do any movies and um because he said i am not doing another romantic movie he wanted to do anything but a romantic movie he wanted to be taken serious he didn't want to have to take a shirt off to get people you know people to watch his movies and so as soon as he pulled it back he got on he said he got a phone call from a from his agent and they said we have this movie and they're gonna offer you like you know four or five million he's like nope not doing it they came back and they offered doubled it and tripled it and i think they offered him 20 million he's like i i just can't do it and he stuck to it and that's why if you ever i don't know why i got on down this road but that's why he, you, you will not see him in romantic movies and he's been in like um i can't even think of the movies he's in right now but all right i'm sorry i i don't know where that came from all right oh yellowstone though he's in that new 6666 ranch okay anyway let's keep on going hierophant reverse that was so what a segue here okay higher fit reverse in the near future what is that about the higher fit reverse taurus energy i feel like this is where you break free from what's been keeping you unhappy what is that about six of pentacles reverse yeah there's no amount of money this they could offer you to keep you to stay there's nothing whatever it whatever's been keeping you here there's nothing this person or company can do to keep you to stay you're just your mind's made up what and the creatrix look at that it is the magician card but in this deck it's called the creatrix because now you're finally consciously manifesting your universe around you your life around you your world around you you're not just letting it leaving it to chance and leaving it to luck you are actually consciously manifesting each and every decision to keep you more in this three of cups you are in your power you're some of you might start companies and start whatever you've been putting off you ready to pick up if it's a novelist if it's a if it's writing music if it's acting if it's it's becoming a chef whatever it is you're you don't want to put that off anymore you've been in something that has been so draining that you can't take it another day and what you're going into is something you, is unimaginable it's unimaginable for a reason because you haven't created it yet you are creating your destiny and you are just fine not knowing what tomorrow brings that's what it, it really feels like it's beautiful real quick that's where i get virgo let's go back to this double energy here let's go back this person that is focused on virgo what is virgo going to do if they come forward what is virgo going to do if they come forward i just see you may not be on the same page with love or with this relationship once you're free and you're flying free the last thing you want to do is be back in a cage 
what is this person going to do if they come forward? The three of Wands reverse. Remember the hermit at the very beginning with the two of ships behind her? And this is not waiting for a ship to come in. You know what I'm feeling? Virgo said, well, you better hurry up. There's the chariot and there's the tower. Because Virgo's not waiting on your ass to come in. If you can't, Ace of Swords is saying yes. That's funny. I feel like I'm Gladys and these are my pips. Um, it, that's the yes card right here. The tower reverse and the chariot reverse. But you're not waiting on somebody to grow up and grow, grow, grow a pair. You're like, come in, come in. But if not, I, I don't need that either. That, that's kind of, I just feel like you're consciously manifesting your future. And it hasn't been written yet. And you love that. Because I feel like your life has been a script so far and you're ready to go off page and just, it's just, I don't know, all these acting references. It's kind of crazy. But all right, my dear Virgo, good luck. I love this reading for you guys. Good. This is really exciting, but I feel like this is a long overdue energy, honestly, to finally push something away that you've been really needing. Probably, I think you know it's been needing to be put away. But it's now fine, fine, finally the time. All of a sudden, I'm stuttering. Okay. All right, Virgos. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.